My name is Apollo. I'm from the batch of 2007. I'm currently working as a missionary in the city of Pune. Today, let me begin by asking a few questions. Are you quick to say sorry and ask forgiveness? Or are you somebody who expects the other person to say sorry first and then you forgive? Are you quick to forgive somebody who has wronged you? Or are you somebody who gets offended very easily and become bitter? I do not know about you, but I find it really hard to say sorry ask for forgiveness and also to forgive somebody who has wronged me. Today I want to talk to you about one small thing that can kill any relationship that we have in our lives and that is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is the fastest way to kill any relationship that we have. Unforgiveness is basically like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die but the truth is we are the ones who are progressively dying. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 to 15 Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God, and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Unforgiveness poisons you and me more than the person we are offended or bitter with. Unforgiveness is also a sign of pride because we kind of believe or show that we are better than the other person or about the other person and the other person deserves to be punished. Unforgiveness also hinders us from getting forgiveness from God. Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 to 15, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is the only way to reset, reboot and revive any dead or broken relationship. Forgiveness is a liberating and a humbling experience because when we forgive, we are choosing to let go of the bitterness and offense that we are carrying and the strings that we are holding on to. We will be able to forgive somebody only when we have experienced forgiveness ourselves, when we realize that we ourselves are wretched and are sinful and we deserve to be punished and when we experience the forgiveness that Jesus purchased for us on the cross, we will be able to show the same to others who are around us. I want to ask you today, are you holding on to bitterness and offense? Are you holding on to unforgiveness? My challenge to you today is choose to forgive just as God has forgiven you. Is there somebody that you need to ask forgiveness from? Is there somebody you need to forgive? and let go. What are you waiting for? Choose to forgive. If you haven't experienced the forgiveness that I'm talking about from Jesus Christ, you can ask God to forgive you. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will purify us from all unrighteousness. And when we have experienced that forgiveness that Jesus purchased for us on the cross, we can reciprocate and show the same to others around us. And when we do forgive, we will see relationships come alive and the relationships move forward and come to life. Choose to forgive. Live a life of forgiveness. Forgive others just as Jesus Christ forgave us. Thank you. I hope you are encouraged.